Hello everybody, Boodly Neck here. It's time for another Mods of the Week. I've had a ton of comments, people asking me to do whatever I didn't do. So in other words, on the fabric videos, I get comments, do forge, and on the forge videos, do fabric. So I'm just going to start doing them together. As the mods come out, as they become available, I'm going to throw them all in the same video. I'll let you know at the beginning of each clip, whether it's fabric or forge, and for what version of Minecraft it is. And we'll just do it this way. And this way we get better mods faster and there's always something for everyone. And we did hit 25,000 subscribers, so I want to thank you guys so much. And now we are on the road to 30,000 subscribers. It's unbelievable to me. I'd really like to plan something special for 30,000 as soon as we hit 30,000. If you guys have any ideas of what that should be, let me know down in the comments. I have sort of an idea of what I think would be cool. I don't really want to say what I'm thinking because I don't want to influence what you guys say down in the comments. So you let me know what you're thinking and then I will let you know what I'm thinking in the next video. And today's shout out goes to Angie Doggo. And yeah, of course I'll feature comments from Curse Forge. I'll feature comments from anywhere. And I hope I said your name right. I apologize if I didn't. But this intro is getting way too long. Let's get to the mods. Easy Villagers is a 116 Forge mod that adds some very interesting villager mechanics to the game. The first change we should note is that you can pick villagers up like an item by sneaking and right clicking them. You can then place these villagers into one of the five new blocks to perform any of the normal villager farm tasks, like trading, farming, breeding, converting, and even iron farming. This is a pretty cool new take on villager farms that reduces the space required and can clear up some lag. And in case you were wondering, you can hopper the items and the new villagers out of the new blocks. Better Weather is a Forge 116 mod that adds new weather events. Currently, it only adds acid rain, but they plan to expand it to blizzards, sandstorms, heat waves, hailstorms, and possibly even extreme weather like tornadoes or hurricanes. Acid rain has a chance of occurring in place of normal rain and can be easily identified by its green tint. It can injure players and mobs and even destroy vegetation and blocks. This is already a very cool mod and I'm looking forward to seeing what they do next. Deep Mob Learning Refabricated is a rework of the original Deep Mob Learning mod for Fabric 1.16. The idea of this mod is to craft data models to gather data on mobs as you fight them. Once you've gained some tiers on your data models, you can bind them to trial keys. You can use these trial keys to start a battle with the System Glitch. The System Glitch is a new mob whose difficulty is determined by the tier of the trial that you're running. He'll summon waves of mobs during the trial. The mobs that he summons are based on the category and the tier of the data model that you bound to the key. If you succeed in beating the system glitch, you'll receive some pristine matters that you can use to create mob drops in the loot fabricator. Or you can save them and use them to upgrade glitch armor once you've acquired it. To get glitch armor, you'll have to face and beat the glitch matrix in high tiered trials and he'll leave you some physically condensed matrix fragments. You can then use these to upgrade netherite armor to get yourself some glitch armor. Basalt Blocks is a very simple Forge 116 mod that expands on basalt. While Minecraft only gave us two options for basalt, this mod adds 24 more basalt blocks, walls, pressure plates, slabs, stairs, and buttons. Gentle Fawn is a forge mod for 115 and 116 that adds deer to your world. There are two variants, does and bucks, and you can breed them with wheat. If you do decide to hunt these adorable creatures, they drop some venison and leather. This also adds their heads to the game in case you want to hang them on your wall, or even wear them yourself if you're into that sort of thing. Flamingo 000 is another forge mod made by the same creators of the Gentle Fawn mod. This is for 115 and 116. This mod adds flamingos to your world as well as some items to go along with it. You can now catch shrimp while fishing and use these shrimp to breed flamingos. You can also cook and eat the shrimp yourself or make shrimp cocktail. If you decide to try the shrimp before you cook it, you'll get an interesting side effect. Flamingos occasionally lay eggs that can be used like chicken eggs. 
And if you decide to take out a flamingo, it will drop some pink feathers and some suspicious chicken meat that you can eat raw or cooked. Into the Omega is a 116 fabric mod that allows you to limit break vanilla enchantments to make them more powerful. To get started, you need to find some Omega Crystal Ore in the end, which will give you Omega Crystals. Use these crystals in a Conquest Forge along with two max level vanilla enchanted books to create a level 1 Omega version of that enchantment. A level 1 Omega enchant is equal to the highest version of a vanilla enchant plus 1. So a level 1 Omega efficiency is actually equal to a level 6 vanilla efficiency. You can keep upgrading Omega enchants until you've reached the Omega version of the vanilla max level. Iron Elytra is a Forge 116 mod that allows you to upgrade your Elytra to one of four new versions, Iron, Gold, Diamond, and Netherite. In case you were wondering, like I was, the Netherite version will burn in lava. Each upgrade improves on the last with more durability and less drag. This mod also adds an electric booster that can use FE to boost you while flying so you don't need firework rockets. However, this mod does not provide any way to charge this booster, so you will need another mod that can produce FE and charge the booster for you. I'm currently using a solar helmet from the Solar Generation mod. And last but not least, Iron Elytra also adds a new enchantment called Hardhead that you can put on helmets to reduce the damage from kinetic energy. More Bows is a 115 Forge mod that adds multiple tiered advanced bows and a variety of bow upgrades. With this mod installed, you'll find broken upgrades and loot chests throughout your world. You then use these to create advanced bows and all the upgrades for them. Initially, your advanced bow can only hold three upgrades along with any normal enchantments. You can then upgrade your bow to hold up to a maximum of 12 upgrades. You can apply your upgrades using the advanced fletching table. All upgrades must be applied in order. So in other words, you have to have damage 1 on your bow before you can apply damage 2. And each level counts as an upgrade. So getting to damage 3 on your bow will take up 3 of your 12 available spaces. Currently, there are 12 unique upgrades with 3 tiers each. And while this can be a very powerful bow, it should take a lot of exploring before you get too overpowered. Scuba Gear is a Forge 115 and 116 mod that adds a set of uncraftable armor that can make underwater life much easier. Drowned that spawn within 15 blocks of an ocean ruin have a chance to spawn with some or all of the Scuba Gear. Defeating these is the only way you can get this gear. Each piece of gear gives you new abilities. The helmet grants water breathing. The chest plate allows you to mine at about normal speed while you're underwater. The leggings give you a slight boost in swim speed. And the boots increase your walking speed underwater. While wearing the full set, you also get fire resistance. However, instead of the wearer taking damage, the armor will. It takes damage about twice a second, so use this very sparingly. You can repair the gear with iron, and mending also works. And on top of all of that, it also looks pretty cool. Construction Wand is a forge mod for 114, 115, and 116. This is pretty much an upgraded Better Builders Wands brought to modern Minecraft. There are four versions of wands. There's Stone, Iron, Diamond, and Infinity. The better the wand, the more blocks you can place at once. There are also two modes to use the wands in. Default and Angel Mode. Default Mode extends your build on the side facing you. Angel Mode places a block on the opposite side of the block or row of blocks that you're facing. Or you can even right click empty space with a block in your offhand to place a block in midair. Similar to Angel Blocks, which is where they got the name from. This mod is loaded with many more options and modes that you can use to aid yourself in building. You can lock the direction you're placing or the direction the blocks are facing. You can choose whether it should replace replaceable blocks. It can use items from shulker boxes that you have in your inventory. And it even has an undo feature. And if you're in 116, the infinity wand is even fireproof like netherite gear. 
Upgraded Netherite is a Forge 116 mod that adds seven new upgraded versions of Netherite armor, each with a new unique effect. By default, you need to have the entire set on to get the effects, but you can change this in the config file. To craft the new armors, you first need to create an upgraded netherite ingot of your choice, and then combine this with netherite armor in a smithing table. The effects you can get are Piglin Neutral, Fire Immune, Prevent Void Death and Enderman Anger, Water Breathing, Wither Immune, Poison Immune, and Fall Damage Immune with Step Height. They've also added netherite horse armor and a couple upgraded versions of that as well. And that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for sticking around to the very end. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you so much for watching. Keep playing. Keep having fun. We will see you guys next time. Bye.